Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. All right, so I just want to show you something very quickly today. I was covering some shiny paper with some tissue and that one didn't work out too great. Then I did this one and then I added some moulding paste over the top. So I thought that was kind of cool, just to add a little bit more character. And then I did this, where I added a tissue with a pattern. And I really, really love the way that this one turned out. So I'm just going to cut around the edge and we'll have a little look at it. And this is what I want to do today to show you how I did it and yeah, I think it worked because there's lots of white in this actual napkin or serviette, as we call them in Australia. I believe overseas you call them a napkin. And we'll just chop off the bottom. So, yeah, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And then this one, I'll chop up this one. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. So, aren't they sweet? I really love that with the actual pages. And then on the back, I could just put a single sheet. So, I'm just going to do one of those. Here we are. Or two of those, I think. As soon as I can find. There they are. All right. So, these are the sheets. I've just got some PVA glue that's mixed with some water. Okay, so just some craft PVA. This is just a cheap, 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 cheap one. I'll just put a big dollop in there. And then I'm just using a kid's paintbrush. And basically I want it to just be more runny. And just put a bit more water in it. Being lazy, not going to the tap. <laughs> you all know me. I'll always find the easy way to do it. Okie dokie. Now, this is the serviette. It was a uh, three-ply. You'll notice it's got a right side and a wrong side. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it over these. Like so. And to glue it down, it's so easy. You just paint over the top with the glue. And I really just love how these came out. And so I just thought I'd share. All right. Glue, glue, glue. Whoops. You do want to be quite gentle. I'm fine with the creases, but you can be a bit more careful than me if you don't like the creases in it. I'm being fairly generous without making it too thick on top. I guess basically I'm trying to get the air bubbles out. There we go. Now if you do tear a bit, you can often just dab it to get it back together. So it's just nice and relaxing. I actually got this tip from Lee's Art Studio, my Australian YouTube friend, and that is to just cut up those plastic shopping bags and then you can reuse them as sheets and then you can lift the whole thing and move it somewhere else to dry while you work on a different project. I thought it was really clever. So she did a whole series on beautiful different papers, papers with fabric inside and natural materials and making your own rice paper style, wax paper sort of stuff. It was really, really nice. So I've had a go at some rice paper and then I still had some left over and so I decided to do this. See, look at that. Now when that dries, you'll be amazed at the result. 
And then I'm just going to do the same with this one. There we go. A little bit more all the way around. So yeah, it's a nice, quick, easy little thing. But I thought this was just another way sometimes to use those beautiful images that we get that are a bit shiny. I often put um, just some white tissue over them to give them a bit of a matte look, or I might Mod Podge, or I might do both. But this, I thought was a really cool little groovy way. There we go, got that air bubble now. I'm getting more air bubbles in this one. Here we go, a bit more over here. Paint, paint. So it reminds me of that thing that I used to give the kids to do when they were little. I used to give them a paintbrush and a bucket of water. And I'd tell them to paint the fence or paint the wall. And so they'd paint the wall with the water. They loved it. And then if I was feeling really game, I might put some chalk in the water just to give it a bit of color. Because it used to sort of wash off, <laughs> not always. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Used to use paint rollers too, because you can get little cheap paint rollers. So there you go. That is basically the process. I'm just very, very carefully painting those air bubbles out, sort of blotching them a little bit as well. I've got a lot more on this one. I obviously got far too game. <laughs> okay, there we go. There you go. And that's done. So I'm going to put the lid back on my PVA glue mixture. And there we go, that's better. And so now I can just lift those and put them aside. These, as I said, can be made into little journal cards. So let me do that with this one. I've got some paper here, that one will do. Actually, what I'm actually going to do is I like spreading gesso out with my fingers because I like how you can get a really nice thin coat that way sometimes so that you can just get a little bit of show through which I think is a bit cool. Okay, I'll just use a baby wipe that I've always got nearby. And baby wipes are such a good tool. Now, I'm just going to chop this down. Just like that. So, just inking around the edge, because as you know, I love inking around the edge. I think it just adds a little bit of age, but also it gives it a little bit of definition, a little bit of texture to whatever you're working on. And I'll just let that dry a teeny bit more, but I'll just ink around the edges here. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. And I find... It's always good to just do a bit extra in the corners. Okay, now the other side. Okay, it's just giving it a bit of a look. That's what I'm telling myself. And zoom. Lovely. Okay, so I'll just glue up the back. I've got my PVA out, so I may as well just keep using it. And that'd be kind of cool, because it'll probably crinkle up that page a little bit.
nice so I like that because you can see through yeah there we go voila so just inking around the edges of this just to give it a little bit of a finished look and then I can do the same on this as what I did on the other one I can add a little page on the back so that people could write on it um, that's not the actual because this is for chicory but this is something else this is beets so unfortunately that doesn't match but I can add a little bit of ink over and there you go so I'll put that under weight and then it'll flatten out hope you enjoyed I'd love it if you could leave me a comment below hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw today and of course please subscribe if you haven't already i will see you next time and in the meantime keep creating enjoy